I like the dark. It's friendly. There's only two kinds of people in the world. Beatles people and Elvis people. Remember? Like the dead of night! Just months after receiving an Oscar for screenwriting in 1995 for Pulp Fiction, Quentin Tarantino directed an episode of the biggest medical drama TV series of the 90s, ER. Set in the emergency room of Cook County General Hospital, a fictionalised version of the real Cook County Hospital, in Chicago, Illinois, which, if we believe from what we see on the show, is a land of perpetual winter. I was a fan of ER back in the day, and for whatever reason, I've never gone back to revisit it until just recently. I started binging the series at the start of January, and I'm now on season 10. Because I have no life, mind your business. But as I was watching, I suddenly thought, hey, didn't Quentin Tarantino direct an episode of ER, or am I imagining things? Turns out, he absolutely did, and my stoner brain wasn't leading me astray. I was delighted to find out that the series is still excellent television, although watching it through a 2023 lens is kind of rough at times. Choices were made. Do I need to say spoilers here? I mean, I'm not going to go into too much detail, and the show is, you know, 30 years old at this point. Um, but if you haven't watched ER in a while, I would recommend checking it out, perhaps even watching season one and then coming back to watch this video, but honestly I'm not going to spoil that much, so deal with it. There's a reason the show was a massive hit when it first aired. So because it's little so little much fun, Jan! Get it! And honestly, the quality of the episodes really only start to dip a little around the season 10 mark. That said, I think season 10 was where I dropped out of the show originally, and I kind of forgot about it, so for all I know, the seasons get worse from here on out. I'll let you know. Anyway, back to Tarantino. The episode he directed was called Motherhood, and is the 24th and penultimate episode of season 1. It was first broadcast on NBC on the 11th of May, 1995, and it was written by Lydia Woodward, who was a television writer and producer on the show. The episode itself is a good one. Dr. Susan Lewis helps birth her sister's baby after she goes into labour unexpectedly. Dr. Benton's mother, whose health has been failing for a while, passes away, and Dr. Ross is horrified at the mere suggestion from his lady friend that they might move in together at some point in the future. Also, Carter is offered an ER internship, but turns it down, hoping he can get a surgical position, only to be turned down for that too. The episode wasn't written with Tarantino in mind, but when Lydia found out he was attached to the episode, she added a few moments, including one with a severed ear, saying later, the severed ear was my only direct homage, and she grossed out the traumas a bit more. But honestly, if you didn't know, you'd never know that he directed this episode, and personally, I think that's the sign of a good director. The episode shouldn't really stick out. There's no reason why the episode can't have some cool easter eggs related to the director, much like the severed ear, and the casting of certain actors like Kathy Griffin, who dated Tarantino for a while in the early 90s. And of course it wouldn't be Tarantino without some bare feet and some cool sunglasses. But overall it's just a solid episode of the show and I think it's cool that a film director, hot off the Oscar trail, turned to TV and smashed it. I couldn't find a whole lot of information about the behind the scenes of this episode, but during a Zoom reunion of the cast, Juliana Margulies said, it's Except like Quentin like, Tarantino, yeah, do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. When yeah. Quentin Tarantino came to direct us and he was such a big fan of the show, he only did one take, yeah. so yeah. they didn't have a choice to edit. Do you remember yeah. that? Wow. Yeah. So we would rehearse, 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 we'd do one take, he goes, good, let's move on. And I said, why are you doing that? And he goes, it'll be my cut no matter yeah. what. <laughs> wow. remember? ER was a massive hit and Tarantino was a big fan of the show. His episode Motherhood received the highest rating of the week, well ahead of episodes from Seinfeld and Friends, and was watched in a total of 21.8 million homes by 33.1 million viewers. And that's wild. Shows just don't get those sorts of numbers anymore. 
The episode has a 7.7 .7 rating on IMDb, and as I said, it's a solid episode, with some sombre moments and some amusing moments, showing Tarantino's versatility. Are you an ER fan? Did you like this episode? Sound off in the comments below. I've been loving my rewatch of the series. There are a few really standout oh my god moments in this show. If you know, you know. And if you're the type of person who enjoys ensemble dramas, layered and complex characters you don't always agree with, then definitely check it out. Thanks for watching. This is just a little video idea that popped into my head, and it's not the sort of video I'd make normally, but here we are. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content and would like to support my channel further, you can buy me a coffee. I'll leave a link to my coffee account in the description box below. It's easy to use, and all caffeine hits are deeply appreciated. Thanks to Veronica for buying me a coffee this week, that was a delightful surprise, and I'm really grateful for the support. You rock, Veronica. I hope you have a great week, thanks for watching, don't forget to water your plants, and stay spooky.